didn't get off topic. Um, I just always find that funny. Anyway, so we're gonna fight this guy, Bandana Guy Geats, and I'll talk about uh, Umbreon a bit. Thing is, in this game, it's good to teach Umbreon Toxic. Like, it's definitely a good Pokemon to teach Toxic. I have another Pokemon in mind that I think might be better for it, but. The thing is, everything learns Toxic for one, even though Umbreon's really defensive. And the other thing about Umbreon is, every turn, it uses Bite. Like, it's so rare that it has anything better to do on its turn. And to go beyond that, the only other offensive Dark-type move that it's going to learn at any point during the story through level up is Faint Attack. You want to know how strong Faint Attack is? Equally strong as Bite. Both have 60 power. That's kind of where I'm coming from, is that... Even though Umbreon's a good Pokemon, I think I'd like to use it more if this was a single battle type game. Because Umbreon, while it can perform decent in double battles and synchronize is kind of nice to have, it's like I have an Espeon that already has that ability. It's just I kind of want variety. I mean, I know that I already used Espeon on my team before in a previous Let's Play, but it's just... I don't know. I just... I can't really justify it all that much. That's mainly my problem is that... I've played through it many times, and I just, I tend to not use Umbreon that much, and whenever I do, it just uses Bite every turn. I mean, yeah, it has Toxic, but, you know, I, I feel like I'm just talking in circles at this point, though, because I've had a lot of people defending Umbreon, telling me not to dump for my team, and I'm just trying to explain where I'm coming from. Well, I'll keep it on my team until I have six members, like, it'll kind of just sit in the back and it'll be there to take hits whenever I might need it to, but it's still not something I plan on actively using. <laughs> okay, that was quite a rant on Umbreon, hopefully, um, dung there, um, there we go. The AI is attacking Miss Drevis with, with uh, normal type moves once again. Let's um, Carvana is a dark type. I'm gonna have to worry about Carvana's rough skin ability hurting Miss Drevis, but hey, I'll just use confusion on Larvitar because I think Larvitar is pure rock. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Uh, Larvitar as it evolves gets a dark type, so I was kind of worried that it was gonna be immune to my Espeon's attacks, though. But luckily, it wasn't. Okay, we got that. And Shadow Rush it. And of course, it doesn't take it out. Uh, are we actually going to get to use Return for the first time here? And it's just doing Focus Energy. I was hoping that it was going to do some kind of stupid attack on Ms. Drevis, like Tackle or something, but can't have it. Uh, y you know what? You guys will already know this, though, because I'll have edited into the previous episode, but I'm definitely going to do a counter for Ms. Drevis getting attacked by moves that don't do any damage, because the AI does it so often! It's crazy! And honestly, I, I kind of am usually not a fan of counters in LPs, because um, a lot of time it's usually like how many times they say... Uh, the commentator says X catchphrase, but I want to go wilder. Uh, keep it in your pants, dude. <laughs>